Welcome to New World News, everybody, on this Friday, October 27th, 2023, an update to the war in Israel with uh, Hamas and Israel, of course, and it is that Israel last night launched a new set of strikes. They targeted actually one of Hamas's commanders. He's uh, Madhath Mubashar, commander of the Hamas Western Khan Yunus Battalion, was killed uh, in airstrikes from Israel, and also that they are entering into a new phase. Apparently, uh, there is going to be a ground incursion. There are already some ground forces from Israel who have moved into the Gaza Strip uh, across the border there. They have like this artificial border and they are now moving into what is called the new phase. There's been lots of rocket attacks into Gaza, lots of um, uh, troops moving across the border, and it could be a full ground invasion from Israel into the Gaza Strip. Um, There hasn't been any talk of West Bank yet. On the other side, West Bank is to the east, Gaza Strip to the west near the water uh, on the coast, but it looks like they are going to move in and start pushing ground troops across the border into Gaza and going Uh, kind of urban warfare, street warfare. Uh, Also, there have been reports and there have been some proof, actually, that Hamas is using civilian uh, locations, which we already knew. We heard about this when it started. Hospitals, schools, uh, residential areas to hide out in in hopes that the Israelis will not rocket and bomb those areas in fear of hurting civilians. Currently, uh, the IDF, which is the Israeli Defense Force, has lost over 300 men, uh, uh, have been killed, and over 250 Uh, hostages remain. So about 600 is that total number, give or take, getting close. Uh, On the other side, it is reported to be thousands of um, either Palestinians, Hamas, or civilians have been killed. The total on both sides is approaching 8,000. So that would put us somewhere in the neighborhood of about 6,000 to 7,000, depending on who you're watching, uh, Palestinians, Hamas and people in the Gaza Strip that have been injured or killed, um, notwithstanding and not counting the initial um, Hamas terrorist attacks inside of Israel on the first day where they took those hostages and they killed uh, the innocent people, which uh, was numbering a thousand plus. So we have to see if we're at 8,000 plus, less those thousand is seven, uh, less the hostages and, and people from the Israeli side. We could be uh, over 6,000 in, in the Hamas region and uh, Gaza Strip. So those are the numbers right now. We'll update it as we get more. There's, again, going to possibly be a Gaza Strip ground invasion from the IDF, which is the Israeli defense uh, force and uh, the Americans have not joined into that. We're supporting Israel. They said today from the White House they will not draw a red sign, a red line in the sand. They're not going to full on come in and, and help them. But my thing is the Gaza Strip is pretty small. It's not a big area. Uh, I feel like Israel could move in there with ground troops and, and handle their business. Um, people are going to ask me what side I'm taking. I don't take sides in this. Uh, I'll say there's good and bad on both sides for sure. Uh, but I will say anybody who's using these innocent civilians and people as shelter, as human shields, as any of this stuff, people who go into a music festival and take hostages and kill people, any of those people, whether it be Hamas or whether it be just randos or, or whatever, um, that stuff is not cool and you should never do that. And People have the right to defend themselves if you do bad things like that. So uh, we'll update it. I just want to keep you guys up to date on the uh, war in Israel. I have another video coming out on the main shooter and on some other stories, including that insane Category 5 hurricane that struck Acapulco, Mexico, and the before and after and the damage is unbelievable. We'll put a video out on that by the weekend. So appreciate all of you watching. As always, thank you so much. Hit that like button. It helps the algorithm. It's going to help this channel grow. It's just down below. It takes just a second to do it. Just click, click, click. And then subscribe to the channel. You won't miss future videos. And I really, really appreciate you guys sticking around and being a part of the channel as we grow. Thank you, everybody. See you next time.